Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. It's uh, nice to have a finished part and unfortunately we don't have a finished part. We have an almost finished part. But it's been a cracking weekend because we've had our village festival this weekend so there's been a lot of other stuff going on. But we have got the old valve of unknown providence machined down to the right diameter so that it does fit inside the head and we've got the right 45 degree chamfer for on it so there's two outstanding jobs one of them is to machine this face to take out the center that we've drilled in and hopefully to take out these two holes that have been drilled to uh, turn it between centers so this would make i don't know if you can quite see that i see my thumbnail there but we'll probably come down to about where my thumbnail is we won't make it a very sharp edge we'll leave a bit on there but but take it down to there and that'll take most of those holes away um and put a radius on this end right in the corner nice radius in there as per the diagram that radius there and the final thing is to to take the center here so shorten it by about that much so we top off the bit that's got the center drill in and um tap it for uh, sorry use the die cut a thread on it so we can put the bolts on the top but it does fit in the head it is a really nice fit in the head i'm going to try and do this and focus and everything all at once uh, there we go in the head it doesn't go all the way down because it's longer than the, the head is tall but if i lift this up you can see it goes all the way in now um that's going to be absolutely a treat once we've thinned it down but even now it's below the um below this part of the head or, or about about the same as this part of the head uh, and the original head if you remember is uh, slightly domed uh, upwards as we're looking at it so there'd be absolutely no chance of piston contact and from this side you can see um excuse the fantastic strobe effects um that's the the decompressor in action there see opening and closing the as i'm just using my finger on the back um so that that's how it will work it should work a treat and then the other components that we made here so this extra bit of support for it slides on there very nicely as well a nice sliding fit and then the springs will go over the top and then uh, when the thread has been cut we'll wind down the thread to adjust the spring tension then it's just a little lever to, to press the decompressor and that will be done so two spark plugs are in we've already covered those before that is almost a complete cylinder head just a bit of work on the decompressor to finish it so back over in the garage i'm just going to teleport to the garage which is roughly oh i guess it's kind of that direction rather than that direction yeah about that way i'll teleport myself there and show you what i've been up to on the bike itself here we are back in the garage and this is the bike itself i'm sure you probably could have worked that out by now so i've been doing a little bit of uh, wiring or pre-wiring on the ignition coils so this is the uh, ht lead there's a, a new plug cap on the end of it and believe it or not this lead is perhaps a little bit too long so i've heard on the side of caution i've made it slightly longer than it needs to be and that ht lead will go straight on just about there like that so that the aim is to make it so it's it's straight rather than um bent up like that and i think the at the moment it's a little bit on the long side but it's easier to shorten them uh, and it's much harder to lengthen them uh, and of course when when you've got that length there if the whole thing turns out to be um too short and you've got to make a new one well it's not an enormous amount of wastage is it so there's one on this side wired through here uh, and there's one on the other side just around there too much there's a nice pair of coils nice big red ht leads red's important because that's obviously faster uh, and then the wires i've just poked them up into the frame here and then they'll come down through the frame out of the end here round under the tank and down to round about there which is where i intend to fit all the electrics gubbins so it's just a bit of preliminary wiring based on the wiring diagram that boyer Ban branston very kindly provided specifically for this bike yeah i'm, I'm not kidding there handwritten uh, bristol 
twin plug single cylinder uh, for Project Hercules. A nice wiring diagram from them. So I've just been working on this side of it and then getting these wires back so I can patch them into the box. But I am going to draw a proper wiring diagram for the whole bike um, before too long. It's on my list of things to do. So that's what we've been up to this weekend. Uh, as usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.